Our next film is called Aria, an ambitious, spirited project that asks 10 different directors to give their visual treatment of arias from 10 different operas. As with all compilation movies, some segments are necessarily better than others, and the unevenness is always disturbing. But there are high notes in Aria. My favorite sequences include director Jean-Luc Godard's erotic adaptation of Jean-Baptiste Lully's opera Armide, about a seductive girl contemplating slaying her lover. And Godard uses, of all things, as a setting, a contemporary workout gym where a jealous young woman considers murdering a strong man while her friend looks the other way. <laughs> Totally different is the contribution of director Charles Sturridge, who worked on TV's Brideshead Revisited. Here he uses black and white photography in adapting Giuseppe Verdi's La Forza del Destino, telling a story about three children in culture shock with burnt out lives. Also fascinating is the segment by Australian director Bruce Beresford, who made the wonderful film Tender Mercies. Here he adapts Eric Korngold's Die Todestat, a more traditional love story aria duet. I liked many more of these little films and the few I didn't enjoy, but there was the feeling of being cheated because of the length, because of the ones you really like, let them run. At the same time, I didn't miss subtitles, which I thought I would have, because these little films, because they are short, you know, eight minutes, whatever, they're more exercises in style, really, than full-scale opera. So I'm getting a marginal thumbs up to this film's opera fans. I think will like it even more because they'll like anybody's adaptation of a great aria, and they probably won't want to miss it. Well, I give a thumbs up, too, and I enjoyed uh, probably three-quarters of it. I That's especially I enjoyed say. a segment you didn't mention, which shows two young people uh, having a honeymoon in Las Vegas, uh, a totally inappropriate backdrop and setting for the romantic aria that they sing. Yeah. And I thought that was very nice. You know, this movie is now playing around the country uh, in kind of a a wave of releases. If it right. hasn't come to your town yet, it probably will eventually. But you know where I think I'm really going to enjoy it is when it comes out on video, and especially on Laserdisc with that great sound. It's kind of like a, a top 40 of opera or something. Uh, with all of these wonderful visuals, it's sort of like the first music video of opera. Yeah, I just wish, and I don't know if you feel the same way, I wish for the good ones, uh, especially the Godard film, which I thought was just uh -huh. great, I wish he'd gone twice as long. Well, of course, you can, you can get a lot of operas, you know, on disc and tape. I'm if you talking want. about... Look the, at the whole opera. Yeah, but I'm talking about these guys, these good, really fine filmmakers. Know, Let them run. Given Godard's record in the last five or six years, I'm not sure I'd want to see a 90-minute movie I, of an I'm opera. I'm not talking him. 90. I think he's found his right length at about nine minutes. I'm not asking 90. 19 would be good. Just more. That's what I want.